What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coach Rob619 back with another video and with Valentine's Day upon us, it's a week away from today. Um, I figured I'd shoot a video to kind of give you guys out there um, some suggestions on what fragrances you should be looking into or if you have these in your collections, give you an idea of what fragrances you should be wearing, you know, for your significant other. Um, and you know, my videos always talk about occasions, um, day and night, uh, wearing fragrances in different seasons. Valentine's Day is a perfect example of when you should be looking specifically for a particular fragrance to wear on Valentine's Day. And to get right into that, like when you think of Valentine's, what comes to mind? For me, it's candy, you know, chocolate, uh, roses, um, you know, just sexiness, romance, you know, you want to be masculine, you want to be clean, you want to look your best. Um, those are all the things I think of when I think of Valentine's Day. So I try to find a fragrance that fits in that category, being gourmandish or something that gives off like a chocolate vibe, um, something that's extremely sexy, um, something that could be considered a romantic smell, something masculine, um, fresh, clean, you know, different things. But all those, you know, to me, encompass what Valentine's Day means. So these fragrances I have in front of me, these are fragrances that I feel will work perfect on Valentine's Day, obviously. So to jump right into it, I go with my first fragrance. And these are not in any particular order. These are just, you know, this this to me is more of a preference video. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish and what you're looking for, I try to put, you know, group together a couple of fragrances that I feel will, um, will suit you. So with my first fragrance, this is Cartier's Declaration Unsor. And um, this is a great masculine rose. It's a fresh, spicy, Rose fragrance, and this is something that most people don't have. You, you know, if you're, you're out with your girlfriend, you're out with your, your wife, or whoever's that new girl you're trying to impress, I guarantee you with this, this is upscale, it's masculine, it's sexy, and this is something that's unique. A lot of people, a lot of men um, don't wear this. So this is one of those fragrances that you can pick, um, put on, and I guarantee you, it's, it's a very slim chance that the person you out with smelled this one before. Great fragrance to, to, for Valentine's Day. Nice masculine rose. Um, another fragrance, Pyramalt, Barry Mugler. Another great fragrance, as most of you guys know, if you're in the YouTube community. Boozy, kind of chocolate, vanilla, um, caramel, um, boozy scent. We got like a little berry mix in there. And once again, champagne, alcohol, liquor, that's something that you think about when it comes to Valentine's Day. This is another one that'll do well on Valentine's. People absolutely love that one. I don't pull it out that much, but that's great for Valentine's Day. That's something that I'll probably grab. Following the same suit of booziness, sweetness, Frappens 1270. And if you guys have been following my channel, I just recently shot a video saying that this is one of the best smelling fragrances that I ever smelled um, in my fragrance journey and in my collection and I absolutely love this one sweet vanilla got a kind of caramel hint to it tobacco um, boozy cognac vibe this will be elegant on Valentine's Day man this I might wear this myself I don't know if they're deciding oh I know what I'm gonna wear I'm, I'm, I'll explain that to you in a second and what I personally like on Valentine's Day I like to wear that that fragrance in my collection that I don't wear a lot I want it to be memorable. I want I want my girlfriend to say, man, wear that one you wore on Valentine's Day. You haven't worn it in a long time. I don't want to really wear the mainstream fragrance that I wear all year or everybody and mama bought and, and purchase and they wear and her co-workers at work wear. You know, um, that's not my thing. But for you guys, if that's your thing, here goes some fragrances that you can just go pick up in the market. Some of these may be hard to find. Like, for instance, when I bought Pure Mall, I had to buy it online when Dirty Mugler was doing that. It's going to be online this date. And I got up like five in the morning to purchase it. I've never seen Pure Malt here in San Diego in a store. I've seen Pure Hervon, but I've never seen Pure Malt. So that may be a phrase that a lot of people still still aren't wearing, like normal people, not, not frag collectors. Um, but to get into that mainstream, if you just need to run to the mall and pick up something, you want to add something new to your collection or get a fragrance specifically for Valentine's Day, these are the mainstream fragrances that you can go to because women absolutely love them. I personally wouldn't wear them for Valentine's Day, but you can't go wrong. I ain't mad at you if you put on one of these for Valentine's Day because women absolutely love them. And to jump right into one that I would probably go to if I was going mainstream, YSL, Lana Witt, man. This is a great fragrance. Smells good. It's sexy. It's dark. It's perfect for a night out. And it's definitely perfect to wear with your significant other on Valentine's Day. 
Um, this one we talked about a thousand times on here, so I'm not gonna go too much into it. But that's Dolce Gabbana, the one. Or even if you have this one, or if you see this in your local store, you know I put a dent in this bottle. So this is my original bottle. This is like my backup bottle. But either one does the trick. They they smell the same for the most part. Um, very subtle differences. Either one of these work great on Valentine's Day. And then the other two mainstream fragrances, um, Versace Eros, which I got a review. I'm about to do a review on this coming up. Um, great vanilla kind of Lamal smelling fragrance, a uh, little different though, but women absolutely love it. And of course, Dior Sauvage. Um, these would be great mainstream fragrances that you can pick up on um, Valentine's Day. Like I said, I wouldn't wear them, but um, if you just need to go to the mall real quick to pick up something, grab one of those, you're good to go. Now, I got two, two last ones on my list. Well, it's not a list, but two last ones I would recommend. This was my personal go-to. I, I very rarely wear this fragrance because, once again, if you follow my channel for the last four or five years, you know that this was the hardest fragrance in my collection to find. So I'm not using the juice on this one. I try to use this very sparingly on special occasions or if I just want to impress somebody. And that's Magic in a Bottle, Dior Intense, the um, original version with the silver collar. As you see, I had this bottle for years now. I, still, I put a little bit in it, but like I said, I wear this sparingly. And to me, man, it smells so good. This is vanilla, chocolate, you know, cocoa. Iris, this is the to me that's a signature Valentine's Day scent. When I walk in, it's beastie projection. It lasts 12 to 14 hours. Um, it fills up a room. So when you go out with your girl on Valentine's Day, and you walk in with this, you turn your heads. Definitely. People are like that they, they haven't smelled this before. You you you're, you're beasting in there, you're looking sharp, your girlfriend looking good, your wife looking good, you're shutting it down when you walk up in there with this. So this personally would be my Valentine's Day scent. Um, but I just got a new fragrance in my collection, and my girlfriend personally asked for me to, you know, go with this one. She told me this should be my signature scent. So this, so that's how she feels about it. This kind of knocked off everything I just told you, and this is what I'm going for. Coaches Rob Valentine's Day scent for 2017 is Montal's Wood and Spices. I don't know if you could pick that up, but guys, this is one of the newest to my collection, and. This is a great one. This is so sexy, so clean, fresh, and basically what it smells like to me, it smells like a better, sexier version of I'm going to watch Reflection Man. So if you know anything about Reflection Man and you know how great that is and how women love that and how a lot of men and YouTube reviewers love that fragrance, that's what this is, but better. It, and it's a Montal fragrance. It projects like a monster. It's beastly. Um, lasts all day long. It's, it's, it just smells good and it's so much fresher. Uh, vibrant, it has this nice little floral to it. It's, it's just a sexy fragrance, guys. If you don't got a sample of this or you haven't smelled it, get a sample of this. Really look into this. But this is what I'll be wearing on Valentine's Day. And if you got it, I suggest you wear it too. But hey, guys, I just wanted to shoot a quick video, give you a few suggestions. Um, if you got something different that you guys will be wearing, just leave it in the comments. But until then, depending on what the ladies say, the terms for us, right? Peace.